So in this video, we're going to be learning about relationships in Directus. We're going to be learning about how Directus makes it easier to create SQL relationships because Directus uses a relational database and Directus has special interfaces that makes it really easy to create and manage relationships. So relationships in SQL help maintain the integrity of your data, but Directus has multiple ways of implementing relationships. So for uploading files, you've probably seen Directus's file uploader when we want to upload a photo, we had their file uploader, we could just drag a photo in and it would upload it for us. That used one of Directus's relational interfaces, which is called the single file, and it linked up with one of Directus's internal tables. That's why we didn't have to do a whole lot of work when we implemented it. For multiple files, there's a multiple files type, and for many to many types, they're a bit more complicated, but we're going to explain those as well. An example of that would be if we wanted our photos to have tags. The way many to many works is a photo can have many tags and a tag can be associated with many photos and that's a bit more complicated to set up but it's really easy with Directus. Then we have many to one, we have many to one type ahead. So we used many to one when we associated users with photos. So we had this drop down box that we could use to click on a particular user. The many to one type ahead is the same sort of thing except instead of a drop down box it's a text box that auto completes with the name of the user. So obviously if you had a lot of users, you wouldn't want a drop down box. So it's probably better to have this many to one type ahead because then you just have a text box. You could type in the user that you want. Then we have one to many, which is just the opposite of many to one. So here I have my photos table and my users table. So I have my photos table and my users table, and I'm going to create a new, a new table called tags because I want every photo to have tags associated with it. So I'm going to turn off status because we don't need it for this table. And I'm going to call this table tags. So the tags table is going to have obviously a tag name and we're just going to leave it as a varchar and we're going to say it's maximum length is 100 so if we save that and in our tags table i'm going to start adding some tags one for html one for php and i'll add one more for python so now we have three tags and we want our photos to be associated with one or more of these tags so i'm going to go back to the admin settings i'm going to create a new table this table is going to be what we call a junction table because when we create a many to many relationship we have to have this sort of intermediate tree table. We only have to create it once and we can hide it after we create it. So we're going to do that. So we're going to turn off status again and we're going to call it tags junction, something like that, just so that we know it's the uh, junction table. So in this table, what we want is the tag ID and the photo ID. So if I click this, create a new column, I'll call it tag ID. It's going to be numeric and I'm going to click save. Then we're going to have the photo ID. It's also going to be numeric and I'm going to click save. So now that we've created that, we're ready to go back to our photos table and we're ready to create the relationship that lets us create tags. So if I click add a new column, I'm going to call this column tags. I'm going to call this column tags and down here I have our relationships. So we have many to many. We already looked at the single file relationship. That's what we used for uploading files and we already looked at many to one. That's the one we used for associating users with a photo because many users can upload a single photo but a single photo is only uploaded by one person so we use the many to one type for that many to one type ahead is just the same thing except instead of the interface displaying a drop down we have a text box that we can type into so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on many to many and i'm going to scroll down so this looks a bit complicated but it's really easy so we created our junction table earlier so i'm going to click on that and click tags junction so there's our junction table and our related table is going to be our tags table. So then what we want to do is we want to associate the ID of our photo with the photo ID. And then we're going to associate the tag ID with the ID out of the tags table over here. Click save. And for visible columns, we have to put in the column that we want to display the tag. So that's going to be tag underscore name. That's what we called it in the tags table. And then down here for visible column template, we just want to paste in tag names surrounded by these curly brackets. That's just how we display the tag name in our Indirectus's templating interface. Scroll down a bit more. We're going to disable duplicates because we don't want one photo having the same tag over and over again. Click save and if we click on photos, so now we're going to add a photo and some tags. So we're going to click on new item and we're going to add a new photo and we're going to drag this photo in. And for uploader, we're just going to leave it as Francis and here we're going to choose our tags. So we're going to click choose existing. And this is going to use our many to many relationship that we created using our tags table and our junction table. And it's going to allow us to select as many tags as we want. Click choose and save that. So now you can see there's the new item we just added. And because we never actually need to touch our junction table, what we can do is go to our admin settings, go to our tables, go to our junction table, and we can hide that table and save it. And now when we refresh, now you can see our junction table has disappeared because we only need that behind the scenes to create the many to many relationship. So hopefully that's a quick overview of relationships and Directus. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.